Thank you everyone once again for coming to Rafita Invita and today I am gonna walk you through everything Universal Studios Hollywood. Whatever you have a question, you're curious, is your first time you wanna know anything about the benefits, the membership, how is the parking lot, how is the lot, the top, the bottom, who is there, who can you take a picture with, everything you can think of, I'm gonna give you right now. So first of all, the hours. Coming on time is very important. So weekdays, it'll open at 10 a.m. and it'll close between 6 and 7 p.m. And weekend, it'll be open at 9 a.m. and it'll close at 9 or 10 p.m. And you can also always get the early access, which is one hour early. So member benefits. If you want to become a member and you want to buy your year pass, so there's a lot of benefits. You get a discount on renewing or upgrading. There's discounts when you buy your passes online for your friends or family. You can buy online for another discount. They have different plants, which are the Platinum, Gold, Silver, and the California Neighbor. Now, they have availability for the FlexPay. They do have blackouts for most of them, except for the Platinum. There's discounts on food, drinks, and merchandise. There's the Express after 3 p.m. for the Platinum only. And also that one gives you the Horror Nights Pass, like one of them. You also get parking, so you do not pay parking for every time you come. You get uh, special events and then discount at participating city walk locations. Oh yes, and if you have a smartphone, which I mean, we all do by now, please get the app. It'll help you so much. With the app, you can get tickets. You can see the Super Nintendo World app. You can see the wait times for all the rides. You can see all the dining available, the virtual lines, the map, and a lot more things. So please go ahead and do yourself a favor getting the app. And the virtual line venues that are included in the app are The Secret, Life of Pets, and the Super Nintendo World. Okay, now the things that you can and you cannot bring. There's a lot of things they allow you and they can't. When you're going to the park, there's a long line and there's the metal detectors and they'll check your backpack. So food, yes, you can bring your own food and drinks yes but no glass containers no glass bottles nothing glass ziploc bags yes you can bring them with your snacks with your protein bars snacks your granola bars uh, you can bring bags of chips cookies and candies you can also bring water bottles the plastic water bottles you can also bring your refillable water bottles there's a lot of stations where you can refill them which are next to the water world then secret life of pets another one by the minions line also by the simpsons restroom another one near the super nintendo world exit and the last one at the Jurassic Parking. Your cameras, any recording device, you can bring it, but I don't think you're allowed to bring selfie sticks because I've seen people being told they cannot use them inside. And for those of you who have kids, you can bring your strollers. Yes, you can. Also, you can rent them. Or if you have big backpacks, you can rent the lockers. They're all by the main entrance. Okay, so now the park is divided in the upper lot and the lower lot. In the upper lot, you will find the Secret Life of Pets, the Speakable Me, Super Silly Funland, Kung Fu Panda Adventures, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, which is part of the whole Harry Potter world they have, the Flight of the Hippogriff and Ollivanders. Also, you're gonna find the Simpsons ride and the Simpsons world. On the lower side, you will find the studio tour. And on the other side of the lower lot, there's gonna be the Revenge of the Mummy, the Jurassic World, Dino Play, the Super Nintendo World, which is where you find the Mario Kart and the Transformers. All right, so for the meet and greet, <laughs> there's a lot of people you can meet, a lot of characters. You will find Hello Kitty, all the Simpsons characters, the dinosaurs from Jurassic World, Transformers, Marilyn Monroe, the donkey, Shrek and Fiona, Trolls, the Grinch, he will be there for Grinch bus only, uh, King Julian from Madagascar, the Mummy, sometimes there's a Mummy, Scooby-Doo and the whole band, uh, Beetlejuice, Dracula, and Frankenstein's Monster and the Bride. Alright, if you are anything like me, you will want to eat here. I eat here everywhere. Here's my link to my other video so you can go check it out. Maybe you don't want to carry any food with you, so let me get started. The restaurants in the upper lot will be Bumblebee, Men's Taco Truck, Cocina Mexicana, Despicable Delights, French Street Bistro, Hollywood and Dine, 
Krusty Burger, Lars Lad Donut, Luigi's Pizza, Mel's Diner, Minions Cafe, Palace, Deli, and Market, Phineas Q Butterfats Ice Cream, Sutz McDuff's Hot Dogs, and the Three Broomsticks. Now, in the lower lot, you will find Jurassic Cafe, Mummy Eats, Panda Express, Studio Cafe, Studio Scoop, Super Nintendo World, which there you'll find the Toadstool Cafe. For that, you will need a reservation. All right, guys, so if you have kids, one thing is that they're gonna have is fun. They're gonna enjoy it, don't worry about it. Uh, if you have a kid who cannot ride any of the rides and you are with another adult, you can do the child swap at the end of the line and one of them stays in the room. There's a lot of activities they can enjoy, which are Water World, The Simpsons, Dino Play, Kung Fu Panda, The Tram, Despicable Me, Transformers, Super Silly Funland, Pets Life, The Minions Water Play. For that, you actually have to wear shoes all the time. There's the running and there is a restaurant where you can change clothes. Okay, now Water World, really cool live action show. I love it. I have seen it hundreds of times. If it's your first or the hundredth, you will love it. By the way, if you sit on a green seat in the bleachers, you are going to get wet, believe me. The show is about 25 to 30 minutes and it's very, very entertaining. So make sure to go to the restroom before. Okay, now some of the frequently asked questions that I see pretty often are is one day enough well yes one day is enough i mean if you have the express yes of course even without it it's really really possible you have to get there early and you can even get the one hour early which is uh 20 you get a whole extra hour you get out of uh, super nintendo world very fast very easy uh, the express pass by the way it lets you skip the lines once per ride but if you have the unlimited express you can skip as many times as you want parking it's 30 dollars and up if you have a pass if you decide to go ahead and get the year pass, you will get free parking with the platinum and the gold pass. Another question I see is, can I leave and come back on the same day? Yes, you can. You can get a stamp on your arm and you can go to the car or you can go eat at one of the restaurants outside. Another thing is, what are the closest hotels? Well, two of them are the Hilton and the Sheraton. Those are the two biggest closest, but there's a lot of them. You can Google it and there's a lot of other small ones pretty close by. Okay, now, so disabilities. A lot of people, you or someone in your party, may be on a wheelchair and you need assistance. Yes, right at the entrance, go check into guest services. They will be able to assist you there. To access the lower lot, there is an elevator close to the Simpsons area. You need to speak to a cast member and there there's another elevator going to the escalators going down to the other side of the lower lot. So yeah, there's a lot of help. Make sure to talk to any cast members, they'll be able to assist you. Thank you so, so much everyone for watching this video. I give you all this information from my personal experience going to Universal Studios for so many years. and if you have been going there yourself and you have any options any tips for anyone else that you think i may have missed feel free to put it in the comments share it go ahead and subscribe if you haven't i always post a lot of my adventures here in southern california thank you so much once again trafita invita